Whew. Well, not exactly the super wild card weekend we all thought it was going to be, huh? You know, three of these games did not give us the entertainment that I would have expected. Three of them did, and that's great. That is great. We got, uh, actually, no, scratch that. Really, only two games were entertaining. I, I meant to say three, I meant two. Whoops. My bad. But, anyway, Super Wild Card Weekend was pure insanity, let me tell you. Now let's start off first with the Raiders and the Bengals because I don't, I, I genuinely don't know what the refs were doing in this game. The refs in this game were absolutely dreadful half the time. I mean, you got an accidental whistle going off after Joe Burrow already threw a touchdown, you know? And I mean, Joe Burrow and company was on point in this game. The Bengals were on point. They did what they needed to do, which was throw the ball to chase, burrow the chase, burrow the chase, each and every single time. And everybody else is making plays as well for the Bengals. Of course, you know that. Raiders were able to come back and try, you know, to make this something real interesting at the end, but ultimately an interception by Derek Carr proved to be the undoing of the Raiders. And Mike Mayock, get out of here. You're gone. You're gone, brother. Get out of here. Um, but a commendable effort by the Raiders nonetheless. Definitely an entertaining game, despite the fact that Red Ball was very, very apparent in this game. I mean, there was so many, I mean, there was just so much going on, you know, with this call. And, it, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's technically a part of the rules that you're, you're supposed to have, you know, you know, if you blow the whistle by accident, the play's dead. But, I mean, the play was pretty much already over once Burrow threw the football. So, you know, it's it's a lose-lose situation for everybody. And then, you know, there was another play later on, you know, after that, in which, you know, the Raiders got screwed on it as well, so, I mean, it, it, it's it's just, I, I just don't understand it, I just don't understand it, man, it's crazy. Bills, unfortunately for the Patriots, you know, unfortunately, the Bills decided to run wild, they ran circles all around the Patriots, I mean, Josh Allen had only four incompletions, Five touchdowns. Devin Singletary was out here running on this Patriots defense. I mean, you got Dawson Knox catching touchdowns. Everybody else is catching touchdowns. I mean, this is just a this is just a crazy game in which the Patriots had no answer for the Buffalo Bills. They had no answer. They got whipped. They got destroyed. You know. And you know, it's kind of sad for Belichick and company, but I mean, you know. Mac Jones can learn from this experience, and he can bring the Patriots right back here next year. Uh, again, commendable season, but maybe, maybe, you know, maybe that first game, you know, they had wasn't really the best. You know, and the Bills, I mean, the Bills continue to be the Bills. They keep winning. They keep winning, and they are getting hot at the right time as well. Speaking of the teams that got hot, let's start off Sunday right with the Eagles getting smacked. I mean, we're talking, the Buccaneers have injuries all over the place. They have injuries on the O-line now, in addition to injuries, you know, throughout their entire roster. Some of those guys come back, you know, like JPP, B2B, I've already said, you know, some of these guys, you know, I mean, that, but again, the efforts of Tom Brady and company, I mean, I mean, this Eagles team just was overmatched. Definitely shouldn't have been in the playoffs. If we had a 12 T playoff like it's supposed to be, honestly, I just I just don't see the appeal in 14 teams anymore. It's it's not worth it, and we'll talk about why. You know, we as we you know keep going through the rest of the wild card. But I mean, Brady and company was just efficient. I mean, a couple TDs to Gronk. You know. Sean Bond was actually, you know, smoking the Eagles defense, you know, as well. I mean, Mike Evans got one. I mean, this was just too easy. This was just too easy for Brady. He was picking the Eagles defense apart. And when the Eagles finally got some stops, the offense couldn't help them. Jalen Hurts couldn't help them. I mean, what, what can you say? Jalen Hurts and company couldn't help. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. 
So the Eagles are out. And of course, uh, yeah, Dallas Cowboys are out. Not a, I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that as a Cowboys fan. But let's break this let's break this game down because this game was also insane with the rap ball. We're talking the Cowboys unfortunately committed what 14 penalties? Can't do that. You can't do that in a game. I mean some of these are some of the dumbest penalties I think I've ever seen in my entire life. You know. I mean you 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 got a team that just isn't disciplined, you know. Maybe the Mike McCarthyisms, you know, are coming to him because I mean, this is this is how you this is how Mike McCarthy loses playoff games. I mean, this is just it. I mean, say what you will, you know, about Dak being off or the offense in general just being off, but I mean, this is just classic, classic bad examples of Mike McCarthy being, you know, not not, not the greatest coach, a good coach, but not a great coach. And, I mean, the 49ers almost blew this game by themselves. I mean, you got Jimmy Garoppolo throwing up terrible interception. He was injured, by the way. Jimmy G got, what, a shoulder injury? So he's injured. He, he's, he's still bad at, like, a couple of injuries. But, I mean, you got Debo. <laughs> you got Debo. And Debo, Debo Samuel is that guy. I mean, he can close a game out just like he did. He did absolutely stupendous against the Dallas Cowboys defense. I mean, lining up in the backfield, blocking, catching the ball. Hell, man can even throw the ball. I mean, dude is a human cheat code the way he's been playing. I mean, Eli Mitchell, too, also playing absolutely stupendous for the 49ers. I mean, they, I mean, they ran the ball effectively, the 49ers did. They did what they needed to do, which was, you know, keep the Cowboys honest, keep them on their toes. And, I mean, unfortunately, again, for Dak and company, it's another playoff loss that stings. I, I know. It hurts. It hurts real bad. But, you know, got you to gotta improve on this. You can't keep going. One and done. Playoffs at some point, you know, at some point, you're going to have to win these games, Dallas. You're going to have to win these games. And, fortunately, it won't be this year. So, maybe next year. So, the 49ers will move on. And then, you know, Sunday night, oh dear lord, Big Ben's final game, more than likely. You know, it's not really completely confirmed yet, in my opinion. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't really know, I don't really follow, you know, Big Ben's social media or anything like that. But, unfortunately, the Chiefs, what, what's, what's DJ Watt, you know, you know, made a play on Mahomes, got, got a fumble, you know, you know, they, they took it was a dub play that the Chiefs had in which there was a wildcat situation in which, you know, Mahomes wasn't even in. You know, it was like Hartman trying to hand off to uh, like a second string running back or something like that. And that play just got completely swallowed up. Once that play happened, TJ Watt took it into the end zone. It was over. Mahomes said, it's time. It's time to put these boys away. And that's exactly what the Chiefs did. This Chiefs defense was unrelenting on the Steelers. They whipped them. To, they they whipped the Steelers' offense. I mean, Najee Harris fumbled for the first time this year. I mean, this this Chiefs defense was on point. The Chiefs' offense, of course, you know, it's on point. I mean, you when you have guys like Travis Kelsey throwing passes for touchdowns. I mean. And I mean, this this was just a crazy game. Byron Pringle was actually the guy that caught two of them. I mean, th this was just a crazy game. When you got this whole Chiefs offense on fire, they get on fire and they start to destroy the opposition at any turn. I mean, this this is this was just a clinic. I mean, big bidding company didn't know what to do. You, you still you still got the Steelers wide receivers with the drop seats and everything like that. And, I mean, the O-line ain't holding up. It, it, it just turned into a clinic real quick. Turned real bad. Real quick. And then the game that just ended um, about, like, 10 to 20 minutes ago, you know, uh, before I started, like, about 10 minutes ago, actually. Uh, Cardinals-Rams. Unfortunately, this game should have been hype, but no, it was not. In which... You know, and I actually got a player's name wrong. Like when I was, when I was live tweeting this game, I, I really messed up here early on. You know, Odell Moss, 
the shoe tosser, Marco Wilson. <laughs> I thought he bossed Buda Baker, but no, it was the shoe tosser, Marco Wilson. And I mean, the Rams, the Rams just whipped the Cardinals like it was nobody's business. They, they kept running the ball efficiently, you know, most of the time in this game, you know, on the Cardinals defense, because like J.J. Watt came back, but I mean, he was pretty much a non-factor. And Kyler Murray threw two bad interceptions, including one that got picked off, you know, for a touchdown. I mean, this was just this was just rough. This was just a real rough game. You know, David Long Jr. took that to the house. It wasn't very long of a pick, you know. But I mean, this this team, this Rams team, again, is built for Super Bowl run. And unfortunately for Cliff Kingsbury and the Cardinals, this is just a this is just bad. Like, this is rough. Like, Kyler Murray had 137 yards passing. It's not going to get it done, man. 11 points ain't going to get it done in the air raid. What what happened? What happened to this Cardinals team? Like, again, you know, beating Dallas like you know, like week 16, I thought that was going to be yeah, something that helped them out. But it didn't help them out at all. They got smacked. They got whipped by the Rams. It's such a shame because I mean this this right here is is, is not gonna keep you around very long either. You know, the Cardinals, they've been trying to prove themselves for a couple years now under Cliff Kingsbury and they just can't seem to do it. I don't understand why. I, I thought the air raid experiment would be working by now, but it's not. I mean th that off that specific offense is very exciting to watch, but when it doesn't work when, the, when you got playmakers like Bod Miller getting sacks, when you got Aaron Donald, I mean, I mean, this is this just this is just the clinic by the Rams. They whipped the they whipped the Cardinals. Now, and now we got the divisional round set up. Oh boy, it's gonna be delicious. Saturday early, Bengals will be taking on the Titans. And I presume Derrick Henry will be returning, so that's gonna be spicy. And then. Saturday night, you know, the Packers, they get to play the 49ers. Oh, we've had some classics between the 49ers and the Packers in the past, and I expect another big one. Rams take on the Buccaneers, so that means, you know, Brady gets to take on the Rams in a playoff game again, you know? Remember the last time Brady took on the Rams? Yeah, Super Bowl, a couple years back. Yeah, that was not pretty, that Super Bowl. That was probably one of the worst Super Bowls I think I've watched in quite some time. And then Bills Chiefs. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is going to be spicy. That one right there is going to be spicy. A good-ass game right there. And I, you know, I, 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 I'm quite surprised because the Bills already beat the Chiefs this year. The beat, but that was early in the season, you know. It was early. That was in October when the Chiefs were not looking too good. So we'll see. You know how all four of these games stack up because this is gonna be one hell of a week. Gonna be one hell of a week, you know, or at a weekend, excuse me. But you know, you know what I mean. Whew. So, what were your thoughts of Wild Card Weekend, everybody? I know, you know, I know, I know some of you may be Cowboys fans in here, some of you may not be. I'm kind of disappointed personally, you know, at how all but two of these games ended up being complete blowouts, which is. You know, really, really boring to me. You know, I, I don't usually enjoy blowouts in the playoffs. You know, and it's just sad with what it is. But I mean, we got got four of them. Real, not a good look here. Um, I personally just, you know, we need to hurry up and expand the 18 games already. You know, we can, we can, we can go to 18 games, but just trim the playoffs back to 12. I, I I've seen it enough with last year with the Bears. This year with the Steelers and the Eagles, I, I, I've seen enough with the whole 14th team playoff experiment. I've seen enough with that. Can, can we stop that, please? Just just give me an extra game in the regular season. That's all I want. You know, I, I've wanted 18 for the longest time. Let me, let, me, let me at least have that. Can we hurry up and do that, please? Roger. Roger, where you at? Roger. Roger, please. No, I'm just joking with you. But I'll see you all. Friday-ish for, you know, the divisional round. I don't know how my week is going to go. We're not going to be posting here for the next few days here on the channel, so I just want to let y'all know right now we're not going to be posting for the next few days. 
Uh, the divisional round preview will be up either Friday. It, 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 it has to be up by Friday. So that that's what I'm going to let y'all know and everything. So, you know, I'll see you all then. Until that time, y'all have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your week. Happy MLK Day as well, you know, if you celebrated, you know, if you were in remembrance of Dr. King as well. So, again, see you soon. And continue to subscribe and comment and stuff like that, you know. Same old stuff I usually say at the end, so see you soon.